We just got to Paco Caves. So there's two caves, an upper and a lower. first stop of the day which is a traditional Loatian village. This is a handicraft village so they have like scarves and bracelets and things like that for sale. Look at this one. So pretty right? And we are headed to go see a school now. We are exploring the night market here in La Provence. Pretty cool, lots of meat dishes, <laughs> live birds, full heads, the talons, very different. Hey y'all, if you're new around here, I'm Sammy and Tommy is behind the camera. We have just arrived to the beautiful country of Laos. In today's video, we continue our slow cruise down the Mekong River to Luang Prabang. The journey begins. Two days ago, we left Chiang Rai, Thailand and took a two hour grab to Chiang Kong. To a new country tomorrow? New country for all to of Laos. us. We crossed the Thai Lao Friendship Bridge into Laos and spent our first day cruising down the Mekong River. It was so easy to get hypnotized by the river and all of the life that lives off of it. The scenery along the way was spectacular. Our first stop was at a tribal village. It was the highlight of our trip playing with all the local children. Contest, here we go. Oh, we got a winner! <laughs> Our wonderful guide winner. was able to give us a glimpse of the daily life in a small village. We also got to try the local liquor. Cheers! Like a little limoncello. Look how beautiful this is. We arrived in Pak Beng where we enjoyed our first delicious meal in Laos. We ordered the buffalo lab, which is like their traditional dish here. After staying the night in a lodge on the river, we continued through Laos on day two of our slow boat cruise. So we just woke up. The view from our room is incredible. It's time for breakfast and back on the boat for day two on our two day slow boat. and then we're gonna go to explore the village. If we have more time, we're gonna stop mm -hmm. in the school and uh, if you wanna teach some uh, English word for the children, so welcome because today they have a class, it's Monday. And then the second stop, we're gonna stop in Pak Uke, where is the thousand of the Buddha. Normally, there are farmers here, they grow rice and 
have a farm for the animals. With this village, they do some handicraft now because they finish for the rice harvest, so they are not busy. So they try to earn a little bit some extra income for uh, yeah for a living. So okay, so we're gonna go to the uh, school first before they break for lunch. Mm -hmm. We're introducing a full day working week. our first stop of the day which is a traditional Loatian village. This village is a little bit different than the one we visited yesterday. It's a handicraft village so they have like scarves and bracelets and things like that for sale. I might get one, give back to the community a little bit and we are headed to go see a school now. to say a huge thank you to Envato Elements for sponsoring today's video. If you're not familiar with Envato Elements, they are an online hub with millions of creative assets, all with commercial licenses for one low monthly cost. When you subscribe, you'll get unlimited downloads to all of the included assets. Envato Elements allows us to tell the full story while saving us time, effort, and money. We are constantly filming while traveling and sometimes we just miss something. We don't have time to go get a time lapse or film that epic sunset shot. We also use Envato Elements for all of our sound design in our videos. With their huge selection of sound effects, it really helps us take the quality of our videos to the next level. Envato Elements isn't just for video creators like ourselves, but for anyone who wants to start getting creative with any of their content. Whether you're looking for titles, fonts, music, stock footage, or sound effects, Envato has it all. Go ahead and click the link in the description box so you can get started creating better content today. Now back to the video. prefer to buy from the family. Right, we should buy from your dogs. Yeah. Oh, from yes. I just had this one. So pretty, right? Hello, madam. Hello, hi. Yes. Yeah, but if you like, but I just want to make it. Thank you. Oh, yeah. A little cotton flower. So soft. So all of our scarves are made from. Yeah, and then water is added, and then later this and a cool water falls over here. So this is our second meal on the ship. Today they're serving us a noodle dish with some fruits, but it's the first time I've ever tried seaweed. And it looks weird, but it kind of reminds me of like a chip, a very salty chip. And I actually like it.
cover your arm and um, cover your knees. Normally here we wear skirts, so that is if you want to respect of um, the Buddhism stuff. This cave we call Pak U Cave because uh, it's between of the Nam U and Mekong joined together. So the cave is not mean that rock. That river is called Nam U River before you can go with the boat from Luang Prabang to Nong Kiel. So the cave is going to be this side. Oh, and you can see all of the cave. So we just got to Pak O Caves. So there's two caves, an upper and a lower, and we are heading up to the upper first. Get the hard part out of the way first, right? So there's only 179 steps to the top, which is not bad at all. These caves are home to one of the world's most incredible collections of Buddha images. There are an estimated 5,000 statues in total of all different shapes and sizes dating back to the 16th century. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Quickly checked into our place. Such an awesome way to get here. Now we're heading to get some dinner. We are starving. We are exploring the night market here in La Prabang. We only have two full days here, so we figured we're tired, long boat journey, but we're gonna check out the night market. Pretty cool, lots of meat dishes, <laughs> live birds, full heads, the talons. 
Very different. That was like, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that place back there, for 20,000 kip, $2, you can fill your plate with whatever you want to eat. That is great. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you so much. Bye. Oh, it just keeps going. This is the night market that never ends. Never ends. Keeps going on and on, my friends. Somebody started singing and not knowing what it was. All right, made it back to our place. What a great day. We are exhausted. Can't wait to explore more of Long Prabang. But first, time to get some sleep. After no sleep last night, I'm so tired. Good night, guys.